What's going on, boys? Today, I got a base for my sharks. If you enjoy the ocean and rust, then you're gonna enjoy this base. This base can hold a boat, a bunch of storage. It even has a bedroom looking back into your garage, just in case you die with the door open. There's also a nice little roof bunker to keep your best loot safe. I love it. We'll get right into the tour after you join my Discord. I'm gonna be hosting a build contest in my Discord and the winner will receive a large box from hell. Join up below, all the info you need is on my server and I'll see you there. And jumping right into the tour, we got a single door airlock here so no grubs can go deep. And stepping through this armored door, it's extremely open while also being very cozy. You got space for all your deployables, storage, furnaces, turrets, the boat, I mean anything man. And then you got a nice little bedroom over here off to the left where you can peek the uh, boat garage or you can use it to peek at the doorway. I mean people are definitely going to raid through the garage or the front door. And yeah, you got space for a tier 3 in here, you can put more loot in the corner. And then the bunker is obviously behind that high quality wall. All you do is open it with a roof like that and you can slide right in. You can put whatever you want in here, but I feel like the battery is pretty important. And then here's a look at the upkeep. And brother, I mean, that's just so damn cheap. I mean, this is just the boost mobile of upkeeps. Not funny. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the tour. And let's get into the build. All right, so the first thing you need for this base is a beach, which we have right here. And then to make sure the foundations are the perfect height, you want them about this high. You want the water level just above where all three of those twigs intersect on the support beams. And then once you've got it the right height, you can go ahead and place your first foundation and then start the starter unit. Don't fill in this last square, it's supposed to be like a little Pac-Man shape. Put your entrance right next to the Pac-Man mouth and then wall off the rest of the structure, of course. Upgrade it all to whatever you've got. I'd recommend stone. Seal that puppy off with a double door and roof it off. TC will go in the corner as far away from the front door as possible and you can plug it off with a window. You can arrange your starter however you like. I just personally like it this way. Now the next step is to make the bunker. Place two twig triangles here and here. And then after that, we're just gonna wiggle a square foundation in between these two. This might look annoying, but once you practice it, it's really easy. So if you don't know how to do this, I'll leave a link to a good tutorial down below. But yeah, you place the foundation and then you put a wall on top of it. And then make sure it opens with a roof before you upgrade anything. And it does, which means you did your bunker right. So upgrade that wall, don't want to lose it. After that, get rid of the extra build out on the sides and then build out triangle, square, triangle from your square. Get rid of everything but the last triangle and then go triangle, square, triangle again and you'll have a triangle there that will open your bunker with a triangle roof. After that, just place a little roof above it coming off the rest of the building, not the uh, offset wall. You'll notice it's a tiny little gap. That's no problem, we're gonna fix that soon. Make sure you do the bunker before you do this build out. If you're trying to do this build out first, then you're not gonna be able to put your bunker in. Build out triangle, square, triangle. And then do a low triangle after that. And then two more high triangles. Once you've gotten this part, get rid of any unnecessary garbage twig. Then you'll place a half wall on this low triangle. Upgrade that right away just so you don't forget about it. And once you've gotten those foundations down, we'll build across with squares. We'll do one high, one low. And then another high. And then we'll build our foundations just like we did on the other side. With a half wall coming off of that one. And then upgrade the one under the water. Don't want to forget about it. And now we'll build the boat garage section. Put another low square here. And then do wall frame for the entrance. Half wall above. More half walls. Windows for visibility. And then more twig like so. And then we'll build the loot shelf and finish off the boat garage area. Next, we'll just put up all the walls. The rest of it's very simple. It's just walls and ceilings. And then over on this side, just put a doorway so you can make your airlock. Next, we'll add some window frames so we can have our peaks. And then two more walls in this corner to protect our loot rooms. This is like some weird glitch. I've never seen this happen before. For some reason, the triangle foundation next to this is blocking it. If that happens to you, just break the uh, triangle foundation to the left of it and it should work. Super weird. But yeah, upgrade the low foundation and the half wall coming off of it, as well as the triangle. And then add another half wall 
We're just gonna do this to give the floor. We're about to add some stability. You'll see in a second. But yeah, upgrade everything around the loot room and the bedrooms to metal. The windows that make the peaks can all be stone. It's not really a big deal. And then again, the bedrooms and the loot rooms, just sheet metal. And of course, don't forget these foundations under the water. You don't want to leave those twig. Everything at the boat garage can just be stone as well. And then now we're ready to seal in the roof, of course. Just fill everything in here as I do. And then, of course, I would recommend everything is sheet metal. And, of course, we want to add some role player honeycomb, so we're going to use some roofs to do that. Put walls going long ways across the middle of the base. And then you can add your roofs just like so. And upgrade it all to stone. And then at this point, the base is almost done. I would just recommend upgrading your bunker to HQM. Make sure you get the ceiling above the TC upgraded to HQM before you do the, the honeycomb on top. The last step to the actual build is just adding some honeycomb to the outsides and then some half wall honeycomb up top just to make your starter even more safe. Use half walls inside the honeycomb so they can't just splash open your entire core from the top down. I'd recommend placing a rug right here so you don't accidentally fall into the water. And then whatever you do with the inside of this base is up to you, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you use the base. If you do, I hope it works well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to join my Discord. Peace.